Hey guys, in this tutorial we will create this social dashboard design in Sketch and this is a step-by-step -step tutorial in which you're going to learn a lot of golden nuggets including uh, um, nested symbols, uh, how you can, you can create a design system and uh, integrate all of the pieces together so be sure to check out the video until the end because uh, you're definitely going to learn a lot. Now, this video is a series uh, of uh, videos uh, in which we're creating an entire UI kit from scratch, uh, but uh, you can follow along this video without having to watch the entire series. But in case you're interested, you can check the playlist on my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Okay, so this is where we left off uh, in the last part uh, of the series. and. Uh, in this one, we're just going to duplicate again uh, the dashboard. So basically, we're creating uh, a blank uh, artboard in which uh, we have uh, 1440 pixel width and uh, 1024 of height. And uh, the only thing that, thing that we're keeping is the side, but, we, but you just have like the, the icons over there and the avatar on uh, the very bottom. Now, one thing that we're going to do is to actually um, sign the lines, uh, the top and the bottom ones, just to have like a reference as to uh, what we had in the previous screen, because uh, we want to have like a reference for visual consistency, since uh, this is going to be a part of a dashboard UI kit. And as you can see, we're starting to accumulate quite a bit of screens. so this is uh, uh, something to take in consideration for sure. Now, one thing that we're going to do at this point uh, is to create uh, a few rectangles and uh, uh, multiply them uh, both uh, on uh, the horizontal space and uh, on the vertical space. And uh, the reason being is that we can start uh, to get a feeling for this uh, project uh, right from uh, uh, just creating these uh, um, these rectangles over here. So um, this uh, is like a one take video. So I'm literally like experimenting uh, on the spot. Uh, so I really haven't like created this dashboard before. In the previous video, which you just saw, uh, which I presented it, um, I actually you know didn't have it yet. <laughs> it's just like a presentation video, but. Um, we're going to create it right now. Now, obviously, uh, there's a little bit of delay, but yeah. Okay, so I think that uh, I'm quite happy with this uh, structure over here. Now, let me go ahead and uh, select one of these. Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I want to duplicate the same style. I want to have the same style in this rectangle as in uh, this sidebar. So. You might notice that uh, the sidebar has this white fill, but it also has this uh, shadow, and uh, I want to duplicate to to copy it. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm going to select this rectangle, and uh, I'm going to right click, and uh, as you can see, there is this option copy style. Now, if I return to instance by clicking on this button on top, uh, which basically re what return to instance means is. I'm returning to the previous instance, which is this page, uh, the web app page. And uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the style. Now, um, as you can see, the style has been applied successfully and um, I'm going to click on T and uh, here I'm going to have the headline. Now, since we already created uh, uh, a few textiles, I can simply leverage what you already created. Um, however, if that's not the case, you can simply use the inspector uh, to to uh, tweak around and create uh, a, a headline. Uh, so in this case, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the H3. Uh, let's play around and see. Okay, this might work. Um, Instead of a headline, I think that uh, I'm going to add a name. So let's go here and add a name. And uh, I'm also going to add a oval, which uh, is going to serve uh, uh, the purpose of uh, having the profile picture in it. So 
just gonna go here on data, click on faces, and as you can see, an, a face, a random face has been generated. Yeah, an image actually. <laughs> um, so let's go on uh, the button and uh, let's put the fictional um, Twitter profile. So I hope that this is not like a real a real Twitter profile. I'm just like making things up. I think I'm just going to add like a number or something just to mix things up. Uh, so let's go over here. Let's try the H5. And I think that this should be good. Now, basically, these are going to be cards uh, and I'm just making this all on the spot. Uh, like I was thinking of having these cards as uh, social media cards and uh, perhaps this can be a overview screen, uh, a social overview screen uh, in which uh, uh, you have like uh, um, a lot of social media notifications. So this could be the purpose for this screen. Now, again, guys, we're just uh, uh, making things up because this is a UI kit. It's completely different from a client project we have, which, which uh, has to meet specific KPIs uh, and uh, uh, goals so you know we can li literally like play around with this so at the bottom over here we're going to add uh, some text and uh, let's go under article and it's going to be so long but you can see that uh, by using the craft plugin uh, we can actually uh, create a lot of uh, content in a small amount of time without the need to leave a sketch because obviously uh, we can always uh, just go on the Lipsum website or you know there's so many text uh, like random text generators out there but uh, the um, the cool thing about craft uh, is that uh, we don't have to, to leave a, a sketch uh, in order to create this uh, this text now let's go over here and just uh, just going to to change the text because I didn't want to see in this preview these kind of um, elements and uh, the phrase won't make any sense at all but yeah it's just uh, to make things uh, um, more visually like appealing that's even like a possible case here <laughs> so yeah I just want to make sure that the visual balance is still still quite uh, okay now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to create uh, a nested symbol over here and uh, this is going to be tw uh, an icon like Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn and in order to do that, uh, I am going to use uh, a flat icon, the, the app. Now, I bought the membership over here. So I think it's like 10 bucks a month uh, and I have like uh, unlimited icons from flat icon uh, directly in the app, which uh, is really handy. Um, like I use it quite often, I'd say. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I don't have like any affiliate link or, or anything like that. Uh, uh, for flat icon it's just like I'm personally recommending it because it's something that uh, that they use and uh, I, th I think they they have like a pretty good service um, and also like um, range of uh, icons available so yeah you might want to check it out so here we have the Facebook icon and uh, what we're gonna do now since we have the, the base ready um, we can uh, basic, basically go ahead and uh, add all of the uh, other ones. But before doing that, we're going to make this a symbol. So I'm just going to select everything and go on create symbol. And uh, this is going to be card slash social. And uh, if I double click, uh, I'm going to make this Facebook icon a symbol as well so that we're going to leverage the power of nested symbols in this now this is going to be social icons and this is going to be facebook and uh, let's double click uh, and as you can see it is right here 
Now we are going to create uh, um, two more because we're going to add the Twitter and LinkedIn. Whoa, that's a big, that's a big one. Let's just scale it down a little bit. Where's the third one? It's gone. Oh my God. Now oh, we're going to sort it out now. Why is everything being deleted? Oh, I didn't copy the artboard. That's why. You need to double check that the artboard is selected, otherwise it will just copy the content inside of it. Now let's go over here and delete Facebook, add the LinkedIn. And uh, this is going to be good. So let's go over here, or actually Twitter. <laughs> LinkedIn is what we're going to add right afterwards. So let's go here, LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go with this one. And let's uh, just scale it down a little bit, or a lot, <laughs> I'd say. Now let's go over here, LinkedIn. I'm going to cancel the Facebook and uh, make this LinkedIn a little bit smaller. Perfect. So we have our base, we have our nested symbols, and now we can uh, rock and roll in the actual web app. Now, <clears throat> one thing that we're going to do is to just uh, make a, um, a small guide over here. I'm going to delete these, uh, and uh, I'm going to use this uh, shortcut, which I'm using quite often, as you noticed. And that is Shift Alt. Then I'm moving uh, this uh, um, because I'm creating like a copy. And then after that, uh, I just use Command plus D and uh, it copies creating the same direction in which uh, I just made the first one. So if you go, if you use Command plus D again, it will create another copy in that direction. It's basically like a, an infinite loop. And um, this is really, really useful. So. Let's go ahead and select all of these three cards, use Command plus G to create a group. And uh, I'm going to make a guide in order to have our, a reference point for the very first copy, which I'm going to make again. And I'm just going to copy it down and Command plus D again, Command plus D again, and boom, we have everything. Now I'm going to ungroup all of them. And the reason why I group them is uh, essentially if you don't group them, sometimes you might miss like a layer in uh, by, by copying it. So that's just something to keep in consideration. And uh, yeah, it's uh, something quite uh, useful. So let's go ahead here and uh, we're going to select all of these middle uh, segments. And uh, I'm going to add uh, the Twitter logo over here and uh, let's select all of the right ones. I'm going to add the LinkedIn. Now, as you can see, with uh, nested uh, symbols, we can uh, create this in a very short amount of time. And uh, we're also going to use the data plugin now uh, because uh, we're going to select to change the um, profile pictures in uh, um, all of them except the first one. And so basically I select all of them except the first one and uh, I'm going to go over here under faces and uh, it's uh, changing them up. So my personal preference is I like to have like light photos. So all of these dark ones, uh, uh, like the color, I, I don't know, I'd rather have like the lighter one just, just to, you know, it has nothing to do with like the photo or the subject of the photo, it's just, uh, I like to keep uh, this uh, um, this this UI design like quite light. So uh, I think that uh, the uh, images that which you use uh, also carries uh, their own visual weight with them. So if you have a lot of white in a photo, 
that will uh, uh, basically enable uh, the composition to to be lighter. But if the photo on the other side, on the other hand, it's a, it's a darker photo, um, it will actually have a, a stronger um, point point in the composition, a stronger weight in the in the composition. So that's just something to keep in mind and. Uh, yeah, I'll just change up the um, names too. So I'm just gonna go here under craft, uh, and let's just change these uh, names up. I'm canceling. Okay, perfect. And uh, I'm going to go again. And this one is. Another one, and uh, yeah, we are pretty much set. I'd say uh, we we could change like the the uh, profiles below, but I don't think there is like much of a point for this uh, uh, specific UI kit. Like it doesn't uh, really affect the visual point of view as much. So I think we're pretty much set uh, with this tutorial, and um, I'm just going to group uh, all of these. Uh, into one group named card and um, let me double check the symbol uh, the grouping inside yeah I think it's pretty I think it's pretty clean instead of rectangle I'm going to rename it to background and uh, yeah so this is pretty much it um, this is how you, cr you create this uh, social dash murder UI design uh, by leveraging uh, uh, nested symbols in Sketch uh, and uh, all sorts of other cool features. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like creating a UI kit, uh, it's uh, an amazing experience because you can learn a lot uh, and you don't have like the uh, you, you don't have uh, the pressures of uh, client work because you essentially can do whatever you want, but uh, it does it can take a lot of time. And uh, I encourage you to use uh, UI kits uh, uh, in uh, uh, client work whenever you can, because uh, you can literally like save a hundred or even thousands of hours during the year by simply leveraging uh, designs which uh, are pre-built uh, and uh, made uh, really well. So, and by the way, I'm actually having some. Uh, I, I do have some UI kits uh, in uh, my UI8.net store. So you might want to check them out. Uh, I'm leaving the link uh, in the description box below. But uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this tutorial was useful. And uh, feel free to follow along because this is an entire series of videos in which we're creating an entire UI kit dashboard from scratch. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.